Q, are there any specific practical ways to go inwards? Sadhguru, definitely. You are asking for a technology. The nature of this technology is subjective. There is a difference between objective and subjective technology. Let us say you want to do an experiment in a chemistry laboratory. You put this chemical into that one, watch what happens and write down your observations. This is a kind of understanding. With a subjective technology, you are the chemical and you are the chemist. You have to put yourself into it and make it happen. For this, it needs a different kind of atmosphere. It needs to be approached in a certain space of commitment and focus. Otherwise it will become ridiculous. Spirituality and religion have become absolutely ridiculous in the world today. No right thinking person wants to go anywhere near them, not because there is something fundamentally wrong with them, simply because people, either out of over eagerness or unscrupulousness, tried to handle it on the street side in uncommitted atmospheres. Gods and devils this is a subjective science, it is not like A plus B equals C. It does not belong to the realm of logic. You always need two for logic. Only when there is duality, there is logic. Logic operates between opposites. If it becomes one, there is no logic anymore. To walk through and work in this world you need logic, but to walk inward, your logic will be a crippling factor. This is one thing that most people struggle with. You are trying to make whatever you call as God also logical, which leads to so many stupid stories. Once you do this, you think God must be good, what about the bad? Where should it go? If God did not create the bad, then who did? So he is not really the creator then. Must be the devil who created the bad, so both of them are obviously in partnership, because within you both exist. If both of them are partners, you must worship both of them. But that is not possible, so your logic does not work. The logical aspect of the mind is useful only to handle the material realities of life. If you try to handle yourself with logic, you will be a total mess. Extreme logic equals suicide just look at your life logically, do not think or remind yourself of the experiential dimension. You woke up in the morning. Do not think of the sunrise, do not think of your child's face, or the flowers in the garden, just think logically, you actually have to get out of bed, that's not a small feat. Then you have to go to the toilet, brush, eat, work, eat, sleep, and again the same nonsense the next morning, you have to go through the same rigor every day for the next 30, 50, 70 or whatever number of years. Is it logically worth living? Moments of extreme logic are moments of suicide. If you look at the experiences of your life, it may mean the world to you. But when you apply total logic to it, everything in your life is meaningless. To shift from the logical to that which is beyond cannot be done in an uncommitted atmosphere. Without bringing forth an experience of the beyond, you cannot do it. At least if you are willing to commit a few days of intense seeking, we can set you up in a different level of experience and perception. If you are willing to really seek, I can make it happen for you. Are you ready? Sadhguru is a yogi, mystic, a best-selling author and poet. He was conferred the Padma Vibhushan in 2017. Aisha.sadguru.org Let's block ads. Why?